So we have the slope intercept form of the line. Let's take this particular example where y is equal to mx plus c. So which means m is the slope and c is the y intercept. Now suppose this point is say 0, 3. This point, this point is suppose 0, 3 and this is say 2, 5. Now which means slope m is y2 minus y1 that is 3 minus 5 upon x2 minus x1 0 minus 2 which is minus 2 upon minus 2 that is 1 and the y intercept c is nothing but 3 because if it is cutting the y axis at 0 comma 3 y intercept is 3 so the equation is going to be y is equal to 1x plus 3 or y is equal to x plus 3 is the equation of the line. Quickly just to recover, so this is the y is equal to mx plus 3. Now suppose I want to make the same line in two intercept form, I would write it as in two intercept form it will be minus 3 is equal to x minus y. You can divide throughout by minus 3, you get minus 3 by minus 3 x upon minus 3 minus y upon minus 3 and the equation will become x upon minus 3 plus y upon 3 is equal to 9. So the same line has a different form of equation. This is the intercept form which involves both x intercept and y intercept and you have the slope intercept form which has which in which the slope is involved and one of the intercepts that is y intercept. Remember it has to be y is equal to mx plus the y intercept not x intercept. x intercept is not involved over here it is slope and y intercept. Here slope is not involved it is x intercept and y intercept. So this is a slope intercept form of writing equation of a line which intersects both the axes. So now we have to understand how do you categorize these lines. Y is equal to mx plus c. What type of a line it will be? It will be intersecting both the axes. X axis and y axis. Of course, the same line you can write it in the standard form. You can write it in the two intercept form. Y is equal to mx could be a line like this which passes through the origin. It doesn't intersect the x and y axis individually. y is equal to mf of course is parallel to x axis and if it is x is equal to m then it is parallel to y is equal to m will be parallel to x axis x is equal to m is parallel to the y axis that is y is some constant x is some constant then it is going to be parallel to x axis parallel to y. Just a review of the various type of equations of the various types of line.